Flashing Lights will release in early access on 7th of June. Here is the current state of the game as of 31st of May 2018. The police department includes one callout, pursuing a fleeing vehicle. The vehicle will have a compliance meter, which when it hits 100% will force the suspect to stop and leave the vehicle. Compliance can be increased in two ways, causing direct damage to the vehicle and blocking the vehicle from moving. Once arrested, you can take the suspect back to the police station and fill out some short paperwork to process them. The parking ticket system is also implemented. The player will need to issue the correct parking ticket in order to gain reputation points. There are a couple of gadgets the police officer can use. The speed gun, which you can use while on foot. And the in-car computer, which tracks data of cars in front of you, including current speed, max speed, and the distance between your vehicle and theirs. Other options for the in-car computer are still in development. The fire department currently has the greatest number of missions, many of which will involve putting out a fire. The fire department mission system is created in a way which allows us to add missions much quicker than any other department. We'll be looking to roll out a similar system to both EMS and police after launch. Alongside putting out fires, you're also able to use the jaws of life to free trapped civilians from crashed vehicles. The EMS department contains two missions, one which will see you respond to a trapped civilian in collaboration with the fire department, and a second mission, a vehicle collision where one of the drivers has been thrown from the driver's seat. In both cases, as an EMS, you must inspect the bodies with the med bag and bring them back to the hospital using the stretcher and the ambulance. In the current build, players will be able to accept and complete all fire missions and accept the police pursuit chase mission. When pursuing a vehicle, having multiple players online will allow players to perform pit maneuvers to block fleeing vehicles. This is a part of the online portion of the game that we really want to take further, as it's exciting and requires some strategic planning. We are currently working on systems for a tow truck vehicle, which we anticipate will be added shortly after the game's release in early access. This is a placeholder model. Players will be able to call out the AI-controlled vehicle to remove other vehicles that block fire access or have been involved in an incident. Later, we plan to give players control of the tow truck too. This is just a taste of the content we are already working on for updates throughout early access.